the main reason why girls friend zone you is because they don't find you attractive. And if women don't find you attractive, they won't even give you a chance. But they'll be your friend because maybe you're a good person and you will be a good friend but they just don't see you as a potential partner. They don't see you in a romantic way. Or if they do find you attractive, if they liked you, but then after hanging out with you, getting to know you better, and then they lost interest in you, that means they didn't like your personality. Just because a girl is interested in you at first, doesn't mean that she won't lose feelings for you. So if she liked you and you asked her out, and y'all went to dinner or y'all went to the movies and y'all hung out, and she lost feelings for you later on, it could be a lot of reasons. Maybe she don't like your personality. Maybe she doesn't like the way you carry yourself. Maybe she don't like the way you treat others. And what you gotta understand is if you're trying to find a girl that's much more attractive than you, you're gonna get friend zone more often. The first thing that a girl sees is your appearance. Usually within the first five seconds, a girl already knows if she wants to sleep with you or not. For most women, appearance is the first thing that they look at. And it's the main thing that they're looking for before they consider anything else. Before they even consider your personality or how you are as a person. And if she's not attracted to you, it doesn't even matter if you have a good personality or not. But that's not always the case. There's guys that are average. They're not the most attractive guy out there. But they might be a millionaire with a mansion and a yacht. And they get a lot of girls what you have to understand is it has to be something that's worth settling for when you lack the main thing that women are looking for you have to make up for it by being exceptional in your other qualities whether that's being extremely capable and becoming extremely successful financially or you have to be a celebrity you have to have status there has to be a reason for a girl to want you as their potential partner women aren't just gonna be with any guy and when you think about what women are looking for when they're looking for a potential partner she has to be physically attracted to you or you have to be capable enough to give her the life that she wants to live because you got to think about it why would she want to be with a guy that she's not physically attracted to and he can't give her the life that she wants to live he can't give her a quality life in her mind she's better off being single until she finds the right guy and what you have to understand is you're competing with every other guy out there and she's gonna pick the best option that she can get and every other guy is either gonna get friend zoned or ignored. That's just how the real world works. If it was different, you wouldn't have all these guys struggling to find a girlfriend. You wouldn't have all these guys feeling lonely. And if you don't have all the qualities that women are looking for, she won't see you as a potential partner. But perhaps you're a good person. And that's when you get friend zone. She don't see you in a romantic way, but she could be friends with you. And most men will stay in the friend zone, hoping one day, they'll get the opportunity to get out of the friend zone. But it almost never happens. It's just a game you don't want to play. It's not that it's impossible, but you have a better chance elsewhere and finding someone else than trying to get out of the friend zone. In rare situations, the guy likes the girl and the girl likes him back. But he doesn't know that the girl likes him. And a girl isn't going to tell him that she likes him if he doesn't make the first move. So they end up being really good friends or just regular friends. And there's two scenarios that can play out. He stays as her friend the entire time while she dates other guys. And he just sees her getting into a relationship, getting out of a relationship, and he's just there for her while she's having relationship issues, while she's going through a breakup. And he just wants to be her boyfriend so bad, but he thinks he doesn't stand a chance. Or he doesn't have the confidence to tell her that he likes her. Or she was interested in him, but because he never made a move, because he never told her that he likes her. She eventually moved on and married some other guy. And he's just sitting there wondering what if. What if he told her that he liked her? Would she have given him a chance? Most guys that are in the friend zone willingly put themselves in the friend zone. They try to be her friend and they're too nice. They act like a friend and they got what they were looking for. They ended up being her friend. It's the combination of trying to be her friend and being too nice. That's what put them in the friend zone. You have to make your intentions known from the beginning. If you're interested, you have to let her know that you're interested. Don't play the friend game. Most guys think they're playing a game because they think you need to play the game, but really they're just a friend. They're not even playing the game right. Playing the game means flirting with her and she's flirting back. 
and y'all are building chemistry and having a good time. That's how you play the game. If you're not flirting with her and she's not flirting with you, that's not playing the game. If you're just being nice, acting like a friend, that's just going to get you in the friend zone. You have to understand, everyone has a type that they're attracted to. Just like how you're not attracted to every girl. Not every girl is going to find you attractive. But if you're not attractive, there's going to be less people that think that you're their type. And it's going to be harder to find someone that you like that likes you back. Because you don't have that many options. And if you are attractive, there will be more people who think that you're their type. Which makes it easier for you to find someone that you like that likes you back. Because you have more people to choose from to be your potential partner. Not everyone is going to find someone that's their exact type. Most will settle if it's somewhat their type. Someone that's attractive enough and close to their type. The less that someone finds you attractive, the more you deviate from their ideal type. So the more you move away from being their type. The combination of them not finding you attractive and your way off from being their type makes them not see you as a potential partner and you'll end up being in the friend zone or ignored. Sometimes you could be everything that they're looking for personality wise, but they're not physically attracted to you. And sometimes a girl will tell you they wish they had a boyfriend like you. You're everything that they're looking for, but what they're really trying to say is you're a good friend, but they're not physically attracted to you. And what they really want is a really good looking guy with a really good personality like yours. And that's what women usually think of when they're thinking of their ideal man. When they're talking about how they want a man with a good personality. Someone that's going to treat them right and be a gentleman. Open doors. Buy her flowers. Be romantic. They're thinking of someone that's good looking. Someone that they find attractive with a good personality. And with all of those qualities as a man. They're not thinking about an unattractive guy doing all of those nice things for her. There's always a reason why someone wants to be with someone. And whatever that main reason is, you have to meet that requirement. Whether that's having good looks, being capable, or having wealth. When you have that main requirement, then they look at your other qualities. It's like looking for a job. There's a main thing, a main requirement that you need to be able to fulfill to get that job. And then they'll look at all the other qualities that you have. And sometimes if you have the main quality that they're looking for, if you can fulfill that main requirement, they'll still give you a chance and work with you even if you don't fulfill all the other requirements. And sometimes you can have someone that fulfills all the other requirements but they don't fulfill the main requirement so they end up not getting the job. And someone else that fulfills that main requirement ends up getting the job. And that's why sometimes you have women that stay with guys and are in toxic relationships. They're not even happy but the main thing that she was looking for when she was looking for a potential partner was to be able to find a guy that she finds attractive a guy that's good looking and sometimes that's enough to look past all of his flaws and that's usually a relationship that breaks up and gets back together over and over again like she can find a guy that has a good personality but perhaps she struggles with finding a guy that she finds attractive and has a good personality. So she settles for the main requirement. And the main requirement that she has when she's looking for a potential partner is a guy that's good looking. Someone that she finds attractive. 